हेलो गाइस दिस अली सलाम की एंड टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द टॉप 10 क्रोम एक्सटेंशन दैट यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल राइट नाउ दीज क्रोम एक्सटेंशन विल नॉट ओनली हेल्प यू इन इंक्रीजिंग योर प्रोडक्टिविटी बट दीज आर सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट आई यूज ऑन अ डेली बेसिस मेक श्योर टू लेट मी नो इन द कॉमन सेक्शन बिलो विच इज योर फेवरेट क्रोम एक्सटेंशन एंड इफ आई हैव इंक्लूडेड इट इन माई लिस्ट ऑन नॉट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद वीडियो एंड लेट्स हॉप ऑन टू माई लैपटॉप there are 10 chrome extensions that we'll be talking about we'll go over each one of them and they are really useful and i use them a lot so let's first talk about note anywhere now why do i use them and what is it all about so basically you can use it for adding your own customized notes now i specifically use it for save a particular address that is where i use it but you can also use it for say for example if you are going on google.com right search for best camera to buy right so i need to search this particular thing up and i will just put it as a note right now now if i go on any other tab this note will not be visible for me and over here as well you won't be able to see any of those notes only if you go on google.com you'd be able to see the note and it'll be stuck over there itself So that was what Notes Anywhere was all about. Apart from that, there is Temp Mail. Now, Temp Mail, if you don't know already, it is temporary mail that you can use for logging into websites and everything, right? So this is your inbox, and you can basically use this particular temporary email address on any website that you want to log into, right? So say for example, this is Text Blaze, right? So I want to use Temp Mail over here. So I'll just use my temporary mail sign up. i'll keep this particular email address so let me just add this and say for example i'll just put in a random password right and over here we have this right so i've just added a random password and let me just sign up So what usually happens is you need to verify your email address and that comes in your email box. So over here you would see in your inbox you can see text place and you can even verify it. So you can actually open this up and verify your email address. So it has been verified. Now you can go on text place and just refresh this page. and your email is verified right so this is what it's used for temporary mail and uh, you can basically use this for any website signing up on any websites or doing any other sorts of stuff as well now let's talk about the third extension that we have which is picture in picture extension so picture in picture extension basically helps you in say for example if you're watching a youtube video or even if you're watching any videos on any website you can basically just click on pip and it would give you this particular thing over here which you can then use and uh, you know have it on your side so that maybe if you are coding or if you are doing any other sorts of stuff you can use that in order to view the video as well as do your other stuff along with it so that is what it's used for okay the next extension that we have on the list is text blaze right so over here what you can do is i'll just show it to you actually over here i'll just add in a snippet which is links okay and the shortcut would be links as well and and over here you can place the text so i'll just write in hey this is ali and here are my links right so basically i keep on using my links so if i have shortcut in order to get all of my links directly that would be really useful right so i'll just add one link for now but you can use as many links as you want and you can add in other things as well this is just a shortcut in order to get this particular text so once you've added your text you can then try it out so just go over to any input field and over here just type in the shortcut that you'd put in and over here you can see that the shortcut gets converted directly to the text that you've written over here right so this is how it's uh, useful and text place basically has a lot of other features as well you can add in date and time clipboard place cursor you can even add in forms and paragraph fields and all of those things but in this video i won't be going in depth with it so if you want a dedicated video for this do let me know in the comment section below the next one that we have on the list is keeper so over here we have keeper and it basically helps you in tracking the 
प्राइस ऑफ एनी थिंग दैट यू बाय ऑनलाइन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्टेड टू बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर कैमरा विच इज सोनी जेड वी वन बाई द वे इट्स रियली गुड कैमरा एंड यू शुड चेक इट आउट एज वेल आई वॉन्टेड टू ट्रैक इट्स प्राइस सो दैट आई कैन बाई इट एट द लोएस्ट प्राइस राइट सो इन ऑर्डर टू डू दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू गो ओवर कीपर एंड सो ओवर देर आव जस्ट पेस्टेड दिस पर्टिकुलर लिंक एंड ओवर देर यू कैन सी ऑल द प्राइस हिस्ट्री ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट सो ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट द लोएस्ट प्राइस हैज बीन ऑन ऑक्टोबर एटीन नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी विच वॉज द प्राइस ऑफ फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड ओनली एंड राइट नाउ इट्स एट फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड शुड आई वेट फॉर अ फ्यू मंथस मे बी बिकॉज देन इट्स प्राइसेस माई ड्रॉप अगेन so that is how you can actually make sure to buy anything that you buy online at the lowest price using kepa so the next extension that we have on the list is whatsapp web plus which is this particular extension and over here you can see you can basically blur all these things so you can blur recent messages you can blur contact names and you can see over here apart from that you can blur contact images you can blur conversation messages and all of these different things as well apart from that if you would have noticed say for example i on this particular laptop and i just keep it somewhere i don't want anyone to read my whatsapp messages when I'm not there right so you can even set a lock screen for your whatsapp web and over here let me just set a password so i've added a password here and now if i try to go on web.whatsapp.com it would ask me for a password so here it's all blurred out and until and unless i add in my password it won't open up right so that is what it does it also blows all of these things out apart from that there are a lot of different things that it helps you do but you can go ahead and explore it you can see that it's adding all of these different groups personal enterprises and all of these things there are uh, tools in order to add labels to each of those messages and conversations so you can go check it out there is a like button there is message reactions and all of those things as well the next extension on the list is will bot now say for example if you are a person who writes a lot on a daily basis then this extension is a must have for you so here quill bot will basically give you all the recommendations for example here i can add in a comma after hey right so i can add this particular thing and it would be done right so this basically helps you in writing proper text say for example if you are writing a greeting apart from that it also helps you in improving your grammar so over here it has rewritten my sentence as hello ali solanki i'm new here right so you can add all of these different things and there are a lot of things that you can do so this is a must have tool for anyone who's a copywriter or a content writer so you need to install this right away apart from that we have black box now if you don't know what black box is let me just open up a video of mine and over here i was writing some codes right so you can actually use black box i've clicked on this extension now and then just copy the entire code and now once it's done you would see this particular pop up and here it would say text copied right so now i'll just go on say visual studio code if you want to or you can even go on any other text editors and just paste it so it basically copied the entire text from my youtube video to pasting it on google docs right so there are some faults here but uh, those are some minor things that you can actually remove and get done with right so this is really useful if you're doing any kind of coding course or if you're watching some coding related videos on udemy or something of that sorts it becomes really useful the next extension that we have on the list is Buster Captcha. So Buster Captcha helps you in solving all of these captcha widgets that you might have seen pop up a lot on uh, different websites. These basically help you in showing that you're not a robot and you don't have to fill out all these forms and uh, do all these crazy stuff, right? So over here you'd see this particular icon and then just click on it, solve the challenge and then it would just verify it. 
for you so this is what buster captcha does tension on the list is actually the most powerful one which it basically helps you in managing all of your extensions so over here if i just press on this particular button it would disable all the different extensions that i might have installed and it also helps you in managing them in different ways so over here you can add a header at the top you can remove it you can add other things as well so that is what extensify does let me know in the comment section below if you know of any other extensions that you use a lot or which extension did you like the most in this list and watch this particular video in which i've talked about my 11 different sources of income and you can go check it out bye bye see you in the next video